Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about four ways that introverts think differently. If you're not introverted, this will help you better understand introverts. And as an introvert, I find myself thinking differently in all four of these ways. The first way that introverts think differently is we don't just think, we actually ponder. The difference between thinking and pondering is thinking is done quickly. Thinking is what we need when we need to figure something out, when we need to make decisions about something. Thinking is thinking on your feet. Whereas pondering is kind of like thinking in slow motion, but also thinking at deep depths. There's a neurotransmitter in our brain called acetylcholine, and introverts tend to have more acetylcholine receptors than extroverts, which makes them want to sit and ponder and reflect. So think about thinking of being closer to the surface of water, like snorkeling, and pondering being like scuba diving, going into the depths, spending longer there, and going at a deeper level. The second way that introverts think differently is we ruminate. Ruminate means that we are rolling our thoughts over and over in our head. And it can also be called overthinking. And this can be a trap for introverts, but it's something that we're just naturally wired to do. This can be one of the reasons why it takes a long time for some introverts to make decisions because they are rolling everything over in their head. And sometimes it comes from past experiences, reliving those past experiences over and over in our heads. Think of it like a whirlpool. You just kind of get stuck in this whirlpool of thoughts and it can be difficult to get out of it. In fact, this word rumination actually comes from certain species of animals. There are certain species of animals that ruminate, and one of them is a cow. A cow will partially eat their food, swallow it, then unswallow it, and then what we know as chew their cud. So they're chewing their food over and over as they're digesting it. In the same way, introverts are mentally chewing on their thoughts over and over again. The third way that introverts think differently is we tend to calculate. We calculate as in we weigh everything. You are not likely to meet an impulsive introvert. Introverts usually like to think things through carefully before they make a decision. Weigh the pros and cons. Weigh the risks and the benefits way possible outcomes. And in order to do this, a lot of times we introverts love to do research on things or think things through or make lists of pros and cons before we make a decision. So what can seem like, oh my gosh, this person's not making a decision, the introvert may be over there really working on it through their heads and calculating the decision before they give you a yes or no. The fourth way that introverts think differently is they really like to think through the written word, whether it is keeping a journal, which I have shared before that I've kept a journal since seventh grade, or whether it's just writing things out. A lot of times, even when we're writing written communication, even if it's like an email or some kind of written message, we're able to think through it. We're able to go back, read our words, think through it a little more, change things up, and it feels so much more thought out and so much more like how we really want to express ourselves through wit written communication versus verbal communication. Introverts like to think to speak versus extroverts who like to speak to think. And as introverts, we're able to think to speak if we can do that in writing. Now, are you an introvert and do you agree with all four of these or some of them? I would love for you to express in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Now, if you know of somebody who's trying to understand introverts better, I hope that you will share this video and subscribe to my channel.